hi guys very good afternoon to all of you welcome to the video number 521 and in this video today we are going to talk about how to send the meeting invites to your team members using the excel vpa right uh, so this is i'm trying to uh, give the solution to one of my subscribers who watched my video where we talked about how to save the calendars you know how to save your appointments in your outlook and after watching that video he came up uh, with this question that what if we want to we don't want to save the calendar for our meetings but we want to send the invites you know so we have the two things in outlook meeting and appointment so we are going to talk about the meetings right so let's go and uh, do this fantastic thing and uh, this is going to be the advanced level video and you're watching youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar Prama, which is my name we have got 500 and guys 21 videos on this excel excel vba access access vba right so this is what all you can i mean go and watch and can learn this these are all the playlist uh, the sequence which i'm sharing with you because uh, when you ask me that uh, out of these 500 videos which video you are supposed to watch first so this is the basically the playlist sequence which you should watch first right so this is all about this you can note it down and now let's talk about the today's uh, the the code which we want to uh, prepare so what we want to do is before i go further i want to quickly tell you what exactly i mean now you know when you go to the outlook guys you click on the appointment and the meeting what is the appointment so when you click on the appointment you know you write here subject you write a location and then you can save and close that and that gets added in your calendar so whenever that date and the time comes automatically you get the pop-up right now this you can do manually and this you can do using the vba also i had talked about how you can do this you know uh, using the vba because manually everybody knows if you are uh, if you are somebody who's using the outlook this is a very basic necessity so we can create them way you know it, it's very simple you just put the subject location and the start date end time and all that stuff and just save and close but then uh, i got the question that what about the meeting because you know when you go and click on the meeting meeting is basically to send the invites to other people where you can go and you know you can write here the two where you want to send that and then the subject line location and then those guys you know this they when they get the when they get this invitation they will have the opportunity they will have this uh, uh, you know the uh, no, they can select that accept your invitation they can reject your invitation or they may be if they just want to you know accept that without any response that is also they can do so that's what we're going to do today right so let's say i want to target three people four people you know of my team and i want to send this invite so how to do that guys so let's go to the excel now uh, if you're watching the channel for the first time guys i must tell you that we have got uh, i think 48 49 videos as on date on outlook all the videos are different what you need to do is you need to quickly go to the playlist called excel vba connecting outlook with excel and you'll find there all these amazing 48 videos different different videos different scenarios different emails uh, you have written me you know different problems and different solutions so if you are familiar to the the channel then you must be knowing uh, that in order to communicate with the outlook first of all the very first thing which you guys will do if you're not watching if you're watching the channel for the first time i'll just brief you about it basically guys we want to connect the excel with the outlook so you make sure you go in the tool reference and first you have that outlook library activated you can see this is microsoft outlook 16.0 object library is activated by default this is not going to be here i have actually uh, you know uh, check mark this library that's why it's showing on the top otherwise uh, when you press m you you have to find this library they are all alphabetically sorted libraries so where you get this microsoft outlook you know starts with this you just need to make sure that you check mark that and then you click ok once you click ok come back to the tool and the reference and see that this is going to show here this must show here otherwise you will not be able to work with the outlook this is just a way to tell the uh, excel vb that uh, we have got a new friend in our house and we will have to make sure that you know the person should feel good with in our company right so it's all about knowing that person so if you uh, if you want to know the outlook if you want to use the outlook classes you know the methods properties what we are going to do in the excel then we have to make sure this library should be activated this is called the early binding method where you tell in advance that excel vba i'm going to work with the outlook vba i'm going to work with the outlook object so let's go and do that so send invite this is what meeting invite this is what i'm gonna write so what is the first thing you will do well the first thing which we will do guys we will create the outlook application so this is how we create the outlook application right these are the standard lines if you're following the channel you by now 
must be knowing that what is this basically lines you know they are meant for they create the outlook application you know that they, they because now when i run this line o will be considered as my outlook so i can refer to the out o object and i can do whatever i want now since we are going to talk about the the meeting right so meeting is all about the appointment so what you need to do you have to create one more object which is let's say let's declare that opt as outlook dot now many of you if you if you have seen the previous videos uh, in our almost every video we use the mail item now mail item is a class which we use to send out the emails guys you know to send out the emails or maybe to loop through the emails on the existing emails you know so that's basically this class refers to the emails but in this case it's not about the email it's about the appointment so you have to make sure you should use the appointment item class because we want to set up the appointment right so this is how we do it now what is the next thing you want to do here well the next thing is you would like to go and say that now this opt is going to be referred to what so this is how we write what is your outlook it's o and then you go and write create item and then here you know instead of choosing this ol mail item because this is not just the mail this is the appointment you go and say that ol appointment item now when you run this line what happens o o a p t is going to be considered as your appointment guys right now i do not need exactly the appointment i want to make sure that that should go as an invitation it should not save in my outlook it should go in the others you know emails or the recipients also so you have to write here one line which is that you have to make sure that this should be treated as your meeting so you go and write here oops sorry you go and write here outlook appointment dot meeting status what is it equals to is it a meeting is it a meeting cancel received you know all the options are here so that we need to make sure that this is my meeting so please write this line don't forget this line otherwise what will happen this program will create just the appointment you will not be able to send this to anyone right so once we have said that this is going to be the meeting so guys we go and write now in this you know with and end with in this section this is how we can write the program quickly so now what all things we want to do with this appointment well the first thing which i want to do is that i want to you know send the the start date so what is the start date basically so start date you can write here uh, so let's say i want to set this for the 11th of uh you know november let's say i'm i'm going to set this as 15 15th november 2017 and then you put the space what time let's say 12 30 and colon and then 00 and then you can write here the you know the pm and then make sure you close this with the hash right that's how you can write you can set the duration as well guys so let's write duration dot duration is the another property so let's say duration is going to be 1 hour so you can write here 60 60 minutes right and then finally this should go this should display if you want to display it well for for you i'm just going to send it you know as uh, i mean i'm going to show you as display but for you what you need to do is once you are through with the testing make sure you use the dot send right so right now just go and comment this line so that it should go to that person also now the point is if the email is going to be drafted but where it is supposed to go right for example if i just run this code right now let me hit on the f5 let's see what's going to happen look at this wonderful you have actually created the meeting right so we have the subject location md the date is done 15 november it's wednesday right and 12:30 to 1:30 it automatically taken that 60 minute that's fantastic so location subject to we need it right so let's close this and let's come back to the code so i will first of all you know quickly set up the subject guys so we can write here that this is going to be my subject so let's say the subject is business or maybe performance weekly performance you know performance review right that's what we're going to do that okay so location also you want to send it out well let's say the location i i just said that to be decided let's let's not put the location i just write here to be decided whatever you want to write right so this is done now if i go and run this program let's see what's going to happen so i'm running this program and now you can see that we got the weekly performance location everything but now the important part is left which is who will receive this meeting invite from you you know and also dot send it should go also right right now it is only coming in front of your screen because obviously guys we are using the dot display because i want to just show you right so now there is important thing how are you going to write this now if you are thinking that all right to so ajay is going to write it here now too that's not going to come because this is not the email this is the appointment 
if you are using the mail you know mail item class then perhaps you know if you have watched my videos that we get the dot two also because dot two is all always this property comes with the mail but this is not actually the mail this is the meeting invite so we have a different way of doing it so what you need to do is uh, here uh, i will go and create uh, a variable let's say we create a variable called uh, uh, dem uh, my list right so that's that's how you can just write a string now you want to make sure that this my my list should be uh, you know should uh, include those names which you want to add so what i will do is so here in your appointment you're going to write here your appointment o a p t that's your appointment recipient right we want to add so you can write here all the recipients so i'm going to write here let's say ajay dot parmar which is my outlook id 1981 at outlook.com let's say there is one more item i'm just going to add it as abc and at outlook.com right so this is done now this is how i can put my recipients so recipient dot add dot add is a method guys and this is going to add the recipients in my email and the email will go to these guys so i just go and click on the f5 let's go and talk about this and there we go fantastic now i can send this obviously you know if i want but using the vba if i want to send it then don't save the changes uh, yes don't save the changes what i will do i will just use the dot send so just comment this line and use the dot send guys that's it right now i go and run this f5 there we go the operation failed the messaging interface have returned an unknown error if the problem persists um the restart your outlook the operation failed object cannot be found so uh, let's go and check that what is the problem coming maybe because of this email let me just uh, reset that because this is not actually the genuine email i just go and uh, um, i think i you know this is not this is wrongly spelled outlook right because i was thinking that even if the email is wrong the name is wrong that's okay you should get the delivery note failure notice but you know uh, if but if the domain is not correct obviously it should be an error so let's go and check that i'm i'm again going to hit this f5 let's go and check that so again we have the same problem guys so i just reset it and i make sure that i think i'm using extra email also let's go and do that so again i'm going to hit f5 there we go oh wow no you know the code ran now let's go and talk because this is my valid email address right so i go and uh, look at this now you got the invitation i have sent the invitation to myself actually now you can see that i have got the invitation and now from here no response required you know or whatever the respond you know you can see that reply or if you want to attend meeting or if you don't want to attend but this is how guys you can send that invitation so let's keep this one id for you know in this two list and the recipient if you want to add more recipients then you can quickly go and you know let's say you send this invite to maybe three people so just copy and paste it and create this another variable let's say my list 2 and say that my list 2 equals to 2 equals to and whatever recipient you want to add right so you can write here that email so let's say i have added this you know again the same id let's go and run this and let's see if it is going to work or not so i just go and hit on this and you see that there is no error coming guys the program ran so in this way you can add the recipients as well right so what you have learned actually today i think the important thing which you have learned the most important thing according to me is this is the one meeting status has to be ol meeting because if you do not do if you do not write this line you know what happens your appointment will never be considered as your meeting right so you will not be able to work on it right so you will not be able to send that all the stuff you know like the way you are sending and of course this is very important that how you actually using the appointment dot recipients dot add dot add is a method which allows you to add the recipients in your meeting right and obviously this is the appointment item that's why you are able to do these different tasks that's why you know you won't uh, you you were not able to see dot two method because generally we see that with the r uh, mail item classes because that's the mail actually this is not the email this is more of a you know this is actually the meeting and it's a part of your appointment so this is the code i hope uh, you you have you know today you had a great fun and uh, so in this way you can fully automate this task and you can next time when you want to send the invites please don't do it manually just go and make the use of this beautiful code thank you so much for this question to me and uh, i'll see you then in my next video all the best to you and as usual guys please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the like i'll see you soon bye bye